Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Are you setting up your iPhone and getting stuck with the unable to activate error? Don't worry. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the activation error so you can finish setting up and use your iPhone without any problems. Let's dive straight into the solutions. Method 1. Check network connection. Make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi with a strong and stable signal. Or, you can switch a different Wi-Fi. Method 2. Check system status. Open Apple's system status page. Check if the iOS device activation service is normal. If this service doesn't work, wait for it to return to normal before trying to set up and activate your iPhone again. Method 3. Force Restart iPhone. First, quickly press and release the volume up button. Then, quickly press and release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the Apple logo appears. After rebooting, try setting up your iPhone again. Method 4. Reinsert the SIM card. Remove the SIM card, then plug it back in. Method 5. Activate iPhone using iTunes. Connect your iPhone to your computer via USB cable. Then open iTunes on your computer. iTunes will automatically detect your iPhone and allow you to activate it. Method 6. Fix the issue with iSumsoft iOS Refixer. If none of the previous methods work for you, consider it an iOS glitch and you can use this method for a quick fix. First, connect your iPhone to your computer via USB cable. Then boot your iPhone into recovery mode. To do this, force reboot your iPhone. Keep holding the side button even when the Apple logo appears. Only release the button once you see the recovery mode screen appear. Then, download and install iSumsoft iOS Refixer on your computer. This is a specialized iOS repair tool that can fix various common iOS issues, including problems that prevent iPhone activation. You can download this tool by clicking the link in the description below. Then, launch the software. Select System Repair. Select Standard Mode. Click Start to continue. Click Next. The software will automatically detect your iPhone. Click Download to download the latest firmware needed to fix iOS. Finally, click Repair to start repairing your iPhone. The repair worked. Your iPhone will restart automatically. Now you can start setting up your iPhone again. You should no longer encounter the unable to activate error now. And that's it. If this video saved your day, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a fix. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.